Here's another way to multiply fractions. When we have three-fifths times two-thirds, our other way is as follows. What we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and multiply the numerators. Three times two. And we're going to go ahead and multiply the denominators. Five times three. Three times two is six. And five times three is fifteen. The only other thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and simplify this fraction. So 6 fifteenths, both 6 and 15 are divisible by 3. So 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. So that 3 fifths times 2 thirds is equal to 2 fifths. Here I have the product of 3 sevenths and 2 tenths. So again, what I have to do is I just have to multiply the numerators together. That would be 3 times 2. And multiply the denominators together, which would be 7 times 10. What is 3 times 2? Right, 6. And what is 7 times 10? 70. Is 6 70 in simplest form? They're both even numbers, so we can divide them by 2. It is not in simplest form. We need to put this in simplest form. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 70 divided by 2 is 35. At that point, we know that we are done and in simplest form because 35 is not divisible by 3. 3 and 5 is 8, and since 8 is not divisible by 3, 35 is not divisible by 3. So we have 3 35ths as our product of 3 sevenths and 2 tenths. One final one before we let you try. What will we multiply in the numerator? Right, 1 times 4. What will we no multiply together for the denominator? I would have accepted 2 times 5 or even 5 times 2. What is 1 times 4? 4. And what is 2 times 5? 10. And what must we do now? Simplify. How are we going to simplify 4 tenths? What does it simplify to? If you said 2 fifths, or you're thinking 2 fifths at least, good job. So 1 half times 4 fifths is equal to 2 fifths. This makes sense. If you think about it, half of four-fifths, half of four-fifths, yeah, it should equal two-fifths because two-fifths plus two-fifths does equal four-fifths. And wouldn't this right here just be one-half of four-fifths or one-half times four-fifths? All right, it's your turn. Please copy these problems down and remember to simplify them after you have figured out your product. Remember to simplify them. Go ahead and hit pause. For that first problem, we would multiply 2 times 2. And we would multiply 5 times 4 for the denominator. That's 4 twentieths. And if you simplified that, what did you simplify it to? Did you have 1 fifth as your answer there? I hope so. Give yourself a pat on the back. For 5 6 times 2 fifths, we multiply the numerators together, 5 times 2, and we multiply the denominators together, 6 times 5. 5 times 2 is 10, 6 times 5 is 30. Up 10 thirtieths, I recognize that as being 1 third, because I could divide the numerator and denominator both by 10. 5 6 times 2 fifths equals 1 third. All right, it's time to review. I have two final problems to show you. First one is 3 fifths times 2 fifths. To multiply 3 fifths times 2 fifths, we multiply the numerators together, and that's what we do. And we multiply the denominators together. In this case, they're still the same denominator, but we still multiply them together. And that's why I wanted to show you this problem here. 5 times 5 is 25, and 3 times 2 is 6. 
and so we have 6 25ths. And 6 25ths is in simplest form. We only had 2 and 3 and 6 to divide 6 by, those factors of 6, and 25 is not divisible by 2, 3, or 6. For our other problem, we have 3 times 5, and we have 4 times 6. 3 times 5 is 15, and 4 times 6 is 24. So we have 15 24 and then always what we have to do when we're multiplying fractions, and even if we were adding and subtracting them, and guess what, even when we're dividing them, we're going to have to simplify. So if you don't simplify, you will always lose credit. 15 24 I recognize that they are both divisible by 3, so I will start with that and see where it gets us. 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 24 divided by 3 is 8. And I know that 5 eighths is in simplest form. 5 is a prime number, and 8 is not divisible by 5. So that's all you need to know about multiplying fractions. Remember to multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, and the answers to those products of the numerators goes in the numerator, and the answer to the product of the denominators goes in the denominator. And of course, you have to remember to simplify. Thanks for joining us today.